Hi traders, ATVI is looking very interesting. The stock is up 5%. I like to buy it over the highs, 51.38. Looking at the seller side, 39 now. Kicking the button, got it a bit over, actually 10 cents over the highs, but still looks good. I'm long 4,000 shares. Look at this beautiful breakout. It should get somewhere over the 80s for partial. It's very close. Oh, it was like 10 cents away from my target. And look at this pullback. However, this is probably just a retest. I'm going to buy another 2,000 shares here as it pulls back down a bit. Right now, buying another 2,000 shares. Again, retests from the highs are off, often occur after a quick move up and then a quick pullback to what was a resistance and now is support. Hopefully, it's going to go back up. Facebook is looking great over the highs, 180.250. It's a beautiful technical pattern here with Facebook. Stock is up over 1%. I'm about to go long. Watching the sellers right now at 50. Clicking the button. We did not move over 50. Now we did. Good. I was expecting this move. It looks fine. I'm long Facebook. MO. Posted it in the room earlier over 52. It did not go through a 52, which is currently high. I would like to buy it at around 51.50 if it moves up a bit. Again, the stock is up 8%, almost 9 So any pullback could draw in a lot of um, long players. And I'm looking for the first chance, the place where everybody would like to go in. And it looks like it's about to happen right now. Look at the volume growing right now, over 50. I'm clicking the button. I think that's the point of no return. That's the point where a lot of people who are watching MO today, you know, of course, everybody watching it's up 9%, would go long. SGM is looking fine. The stock is down 7%. Beautiful downtrend. Very nice breakdown formation. The lows is 104.25. And I would like to short it under 104.40 because I think that once it goes under, it's going to continue. Look at the buyers right now at 47. Now they moved under 40. I'm clicking the button. I'm short 4,000 shares of SJM. It looks fine. I just need to see it under the lows where all the stop loss orders should be activated. And it's just right now. Volume's growing. Look at the breakdown candle here. Look at the volume. That's all these stop loss orders. So you would expect it to continue now. That looks quite nice. Come on, come on. Don't pull back. Don't pull back. Yes. New low. We'll see another new low for a partial. We're getting there. We're getting there. Any sign of a pullback now? Adding another 2,000 shares to MO, scaling into a winning trade that looks really lovely right now. And if it's going to move just a bit more, over 51.80, I'm going to add a bit more. It's getting there, it's getting there. Adding now, I'm scaling in, it's moving higher. And the next station would be 52. And if it moves over the highs, which is 52, I'm going to add even a bit more. So I already have 6,000 shares. Started with 2,000, added twice. Again, look at the seller size. Getting to 52 now, adding another 2,000, 8,000 shares, scaling into a winning trade. I don't expect much. 52.20 would do. It's there. It just touched there. Any sign fullback now? Took my partial in MO, scaled into a winner. That's a beautiful trade in MO. Facebook finally moved over the highs again. The initial move here wasn't enough. I was expecting it to move over 183 and it just did that. About to take my partial. Now taking my partial in Facebook. It's a very nice trade in Facebook. Another winner. Plan is down 7% and look at the buyers at 55. That's a whole number and a beautiful breakdown formation. However, the lows is a bit lower than that. 54.91. I just expect it to move under now. Just moved under 55, I clicked that button, but the buyers came back. But the buyers came back. I took my chance there. I took my chance, but it did not move under. Okay, now let's see if it can come back to the 55 mark. It does. Look at the buyers again. Under. Great. Now the lows. 
Okay, look at the huge number of buyers at 90. You don't see them. You don't see them on the level two. You just see them on the time and sale right here on the right. Look at them. Look at the huge number of buyers. And if you wonder who they are, I'll tell you very soon. But look at the number of buyers. Again, they hide their quantities. If, the, if it's going to come down a cent under 90, it's going to crash down. Now, again, look at the buyer side. You don't see the buyers. But look at the time and sale. You see plenty of executions at 54.90. Plenty of executions and we just came down and now we need to crash and I'm going to use this crash to get my partial sellers at 72, 71, getting ready for my partial, 73, I'm getting ready to cover 1800 shares, 64, can it move lower, took my partial, took my partial right down at the lows. Okay, I hope it's going to continue now. Uh, the thing with the buyers at 54.90 is if you wonder who they are it's short sellers it's probably short sellers i'm not sure of course but it usually is short sellers so what are they doing there really you know if you're trading large quantity of shares the only way for you to move out is to buy into the power you can't just chase the price down just like I do I chased it down and I covered when I saw the first sign of a pullback now I'm trading CFDs I don't affect the market so for me it's not a problem to chase the price down but if you're trading equities and you have large quantities the only way for you is to wait down with a limit order so they wait a cent under the lows assuming and they are right that there's be there's going to be a lot of volume sellers volume under the lows why it's a nice technical formation nice breakdown formation so they would wait like a cent lower with a limit order to buy which means covering their shorts with a large quantity which they will hide they will not show you the large quantity on the bid side they will just hide it so you don't know that you're supposed to be or maybe um, get frightened and just you know cover your short so they're expecting you to sell under the laws they are right you do so and therefore that's the great that's a great way for them to cover a large quantity of shorts that could be tens of thousands of shares and if you look at this video again you can probably see the number of executions that were there on 5490 all hidden and here's the result of my trading day. Well, I'm doing fine today, although I have a huge loser in ATVI. ATVI is down over four grand. Now take a look there. It just killed me as it came down once. And then the second time I moved out and final result, it moved up again, but without me. I have a huge loser in ATVI, but other than that, lovely winners. Facebook, I'm still riding 100 shares. MO was great. Uh, plan, just a small winner. SJM was great and final result up over three grand. Thank you very much for watching and join me here for a free 14 day trial and don't forget to join the world series of day trading which is the world's greatest competition. You can join it with the link below and here's the video about the world series. World series of day trading. You've read and heard about it everywhere. Now let me tell you what it's all about. The World Series of Day Trading is the largest, most important, and most dominant trading-related competition in the world. Every few months, the day trading community holds its breath for six trading days to see who is the leading talent in the world of trading. Each competitor gets a $240,000 demo account to trade with for the six trading days. The goal is to reach the end of the competition with the highest account balance and without getting eliminated. Each competitor must trade on at least four active trading days out of the six, and you're not allowed to hold any position overnight. On a given trading day, you may not lose more than $3,500 and you can't be down more than $12,000 at any point in the competition. If you reach the max loss, you are automatically eliminated. It's an open competition and anyone can apply whether you have many years of track record in the market or very little experience. While we are powered by TradeNet, you can apply regardless of where you obtained your education and irrespective of the trading platform you use. The prizes for the champion and the runners-up are fantastic. 
The champion wins a $240,000 funded account access plus a $6,000 TradeNet voucher. Each one of the top 20 traders wins access to a funded account. The total funded account access fund surpasses $3 million. You need to know that as a competitor, you deserve to be a part of a team. Your team leader will guide you throughout the series, so it's better if you follow him and his social media channel closely. As a team member, you also enjoy the internal competition with your teammates. The best trader in your team wins an $80,000 funded account value, while the two runner-ups gets a $14,000 funded account access. Your team is also competing with the other teams, so if your team is among the top three, then the leading players on your team can get even larger prizes. Got more questions? That's okay. Fill in the details below and we will get back to you shortly to explain. Now it's time for you to go ahead and sign yourself up with one of the teams. Hurry up and sign up right now.